Come on, because this song is called One More Song. Thank you very much for uh, turning out tonight. It's been great to have your support. Thank you. I'm serious. Well, <laughs> <laughs> sort of. The, um, this, uh, if it goes well, <laughs> uh, will be the title track of the album. Um, if it doesn't go well, well, I'll probably call it something else. Um, but uh, this is, it was quite strange that this one came about because we heard this on Anthony John Clark's new album and thought, what a cracking song to do. And we asked him if we could do it. And he said, don't bother me, I didn't write it. <laughs> so, um, it's uh, Jimmy and Val Jeeva, who designed the cover of the album, wrote this song. And I've sent them an email asking if we can do it, but they haven't gone back to me, so we're doing it. <laughs> one more song. And thank you very much indeed. Um, if you want to see us again, of course, <laughs> we are at Bronze Grove Folk Club on the second and third Thursday of every month, and various other places. Second and last. Second and last. I said that just to see if anybody was taking any notice. <laughs> and of course, we will be appearing at Bronze Grove Folk Festival this year on the Friday night. All four of us in the same band on the Friday night, and I suspect Julia will be popping up from time to time in other little guises because we've got one of the other top artists from Bronze Road Folk Festival sitting in the audience tonight, Mr. Graham Bartley. <laughs> so uh, be there in your thousands, it's going to be a really great and weekend. And Clyde Brooks. Hey. You, were, <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I was about to mention Clyde, but I was going to give him a bigger build up than that. Um, and then, having done that, I'd have mentioned Luke as well. Who oh, was yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Don't forget the dancers, yeah? Dancers as well. Oh, the dancers will be there. In fact, um, <laughs> oh, well, I'm the setting up and taking down stuff. <laughs> And uh, uh, Richard Free is uh, not coming to the festival, I think, but he's getting married in May. How about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And John and I are singing at the wedding. Oh, they, they, oh, they, they couldn't afford me as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I shall be getting part of the fee because I'm renting the PA system out too. So. <laughs> but it's been really great. Thanks ever so much indeed for coming out and seeing us tonight. And um, we really are very, very grateful. Thank you very much indeed. And Dave sort of harkened back to um, we were we were talking in just before you arrived about when it all started, and uh, it would appear Fairfield started around about 1971. So we've missed the 40th anniversary of that, and nobody can remember when the folk club started. So we've either missed it, or we've got it yet to come. I think we should make it an excuse for a party. Does Yvonne know when it started? I'll let you know. I've got the scrapbook. There we go. Then. <laughs> Just don't show anybody the pictures, Yvonne, please. Right, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 and, and I, a big hand for Dave as well. Yes, I'm sorry. Dave mentioned that first album that Fairfield did, which was live. I wasn't part of Fairfield in those days, but Mac was, John wasn't born, I don't think. June was early, wasn't he? <laughs> and, um, but uh, although I wasn't part of Fairfield, I am actually on that album. Yes, you are, yeah. Because um, Fairfield, they weren't cheapskates like us these days. They were very, they had a support act for them, and that support act was Ragtag and Bobtail, which I was part of. And uh, we managed to bribe the man who was doing the album to do a few tracks of us as well. So if you've got a copy of that album, it's a big 12 inch thing, if you peel back the label, there's some grooves underneath. <laughs> And we're on there. <laughs> One more song.